Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I went a whole week without posting a podcast episode. And, um, had, like, podcast episodes recorded. I just didn't post any of them. I guess the week kind of got away from me. I wish I was, like, I wish, like, I was, like, oh, the week got away from me because I was doing, like, all these rituals and all this stuff for, uh, Halloween, all this witchy stuff for Halloween, (laughs) but, uh, I didn't. The only spooky thing that I saw was a, um black cat i thought it was a halloween decoration until it moved its head (laughs) y'all i thought it was a halloween decoration until it moved its head and then i was like that's a cat and it was a black cat too and it had like yellow eyes like in the in the movies and i said salem is that you you know salem from sabrina the teenage witch the talking cat I don't know. I think that's when my love of cats began. Even though I'm allergic to cats, Salem was like my first, my first love for cats. And, uh, yeah, until I figured out that cats aren't as, some cats aren't as friendly, I think somebody had said something like, when you don't greet my cat, they'll scratch you. And I said, how are you supposed to greet a cat, y'all? How are you supposed to greet a cat? Like, by petting it? Like, what if it doesn't want to be petted? Because, like, remember Tom Hanks? The cat, where I said the cat distribution system chose us? Well, I tried to get her to come back around. And uh, she looks at me now when I try to... When I give, when I blow her kisses, she looks at me like, don't get too close now. And I said, she must have been in heat that day that she wanted us to come up and pet her. Because now she kind of like, is like a feral wild cat. I'm starting to realize that that may not be somebody's cat that may be a feral wildcat i used to talk to this dude and um he was pretty chill and he would always talk about how he would get the feral cats in his neighborhood to um come up to him and i said how do you do that like i remember asking him i was like how do you do that and he was like you just coerce them with some food, but, like, I can't coerce them with food, y'all, because I still live with my parents, and, uh, my dad will get upset. He'll get really, like, freaked out about it, <laughs> but, um, figure it out. We have a tractor supply store here, and you know what you can get at the tractor supply store, y'all? You know what you can get? You can get chickens, and me and my sister, we're going to get a chicken, but we don't have our own apartment yet, and if we got an apartment, we wouldn't be able to get a chicken anyway, so we're still living in the house with our parents, and the land over here is zoned for farm animals, like, uh, we're so close to the country that, um is zoned for farm animals so i was like we may show up with the chicken one day just to take care of it get a hen because uh the other chickens that i saw roosting in the trees they have a golden hen now it's not really golden it's like a brown color but it's like chicken tendered colored i know that's a bad uh comparison it's like chicken tendered, co- colored chicken. Like, that's what it looks like. It looks like a golden chicken tender. And I think I'm going to name that one chicken tender. Because I was like, you're so beautiful. Like, every single time I go past my neighbor's house, 
I look for that one because I'm like, they're so beautiful because they, they have black chickens too. And black chickens always amaze me. I think there there's a special type of chicken from another country and they're all black. Um, these chickens are just black and green. But uh, there's a chicken from black, green, and red. But there's a chicken from another country. I forgot what it's called. And uh, it's an all black chicken, y'all. It's an all black chicken. But um, tomorrow is Halloween. And my mom got my niece and nephew something. I didn't get my niece and nephew anything because I'm like a broke auntie. I'm like broke right now. But uh, my mom got my niece and nephew something for Halloween. So I think we're going to take it over there tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if they go like trick or treating. I don't, I'm not sure if any kids go trick or treating because it's so dangerous. Like, um, now, like now in today's age, it's so dangerous to go trick or treating. I'd rather go to like a trunk or treat or a party, like a, um, kickback like a neighborhood party I'd rather go to a neighborhood party or a kickback rather than going door to door and uh, knocking on doors but in one of these podcast episodes remember the ones where it was talking about Jehovah's Witnesses I think my neighbors don't uh, celebrate Halloween Because I think half of them are Jehovah's Witnesses. Because my granddaddy used to stay over here near us. And they used to canvas. Like, uh, I'd be so excited when my granddaddy would show up. Because I didn't get to see him a lot. And um, he'd show up with them Jehovah's Witnesses. And I'd be like, granddaddy. What are you doing here? It is such a delight. (laughs) But yeah. Yeah, y'all. It's Halloween. And I would be doing like witchy things. But I kind of like... I don't know. I know witches don't do... I know to be classified as a witch or to be classified as a root worker, you don't have to practice all the time. Like, I figured that out when I first started on my journey um, in witchcraft. Like, you don't have to practice all the time. Like, uh, contrary to what um, they say in hoodoo, where you have to go to your altar every day, um, I just believe that your altar is like your altar is yourself like and if you're taking care of yourself then um you're taking care of your ancestors because your ancestors are a part of you they're a part of your dna so if you're taking care of yourself and you're giving yourself offerings then um you are what is it y'all i'm losing my train of thought If you're taking care of yourself, then you're taking care of your ancestors. That's your altar is yourself. Like, I don't know. But, uh, Day of the Dead is November the 1st. I do have a Santa Marte, um, tarot deck that I haven't used in a long time because I just don't believe in tarot anymore and... I have a Santa Marte bracelet that I used to wear Day of the Dead and um, when I used to think that you could contact with your dead family members, I pull out the tarot and uh, try to contact with them, but uh, that that didn't go so well for me 
being schizo affected with religious delusions it just doesn't go so well with me because then I start to think that my voices are dead people and then I do this thing where I like uh is it hallucinate it's not an auditory hallucination not tactile but like smell like smells I hallucinate different smells and um it just didn't work out with me. It does, just does not work out. <laughs> so, but anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about today. And thanks for listening in. Oh, and happy Halloween, y'all.